up YouTube? It's been a minute. Got updates on the Chevy. And here it is. Boom. We going wide. These are 22 by 14s with the 325 50 22 Nitto Trail Grapplers. And I got a sick deal on these. Super sick. Uh let me see. The deal was these were 650 for the whole set. They need tires. Boom. Boom. Picked them up in Ocala. Now I'm stunting. With the drop hitch. Boom. That shit is sexy. Ah, sorry. The Lexus is kind of close. But I'll show you guys why the deal was 650 for these. They're not bent, they're smooth, they ride smooth, no shaking, wobbling, none of that. So all the wheels look like this. With the little circles. One, two, three circle. And they're still all, I think they're, they're eight spoke wheels. Now if you check this one, that's the different one. And you can see, they have like the square a rectangle, square, whatever. They still have the same center cap. But, yo, I was fine with it. I'm not mad about it. It's fine for me. Eh? I mean, this is my work truck. My daily. I've been riding it with these wheels for a while. Still good. I gotta finish sanding it. Body work. And then eventually I'll throw some paint on there. And they'll be what's up. Anyway. Back to business. Um, I've been having a lot of slop in my steering wheel and I did a thing last night I went out and you know the slop wasn't too bad I mean I didn't feel bad when I was riding with the with the little baby Chevy Express wheels but now that I'm on these I need something a little bit safer because I already rebuilt like the whole front end except for the trusty steering box so I'm going to get that in today and show you guys how exactly it's done. So we about to put in work under here. Under here. Guys, and I'm going to make this one a pretty quick video. I'm not going to go too in depth. I'm just going to show you guys the ins and outs of getting this kind of job or work done. All right. All right, guys, we got the car jacked up or the truck jacked up. And you're going to use a 15 millimeter and hit one oh two three and four okay guys what i'm doing next i'm gonna unbolt this off the actual steering arm and this also and i'm gonna drop this part sorry guys i just missed this part um but steering shaft down goes right here in the engine bay, right where this hole is, hold on, right where that that hole is, it's a 10 millimeter bolt. You're just gonna back it off all the way. Use a pry bar and pry the steering shaft out outwards. All right, guys, in the fender well, you guys are gonna have three, one, two, three, 21 millimeter socket I mean uh bolts take those out and then it will loosen up the gear the steering box after you done all that the steering box is almost ready to come out so you're gonna put your pan here and you got your lines up top you'll unbolt those hard lines from it and you'll be ready to drop it out both the uh, the sizes of those uh, those lines, they're both uh, 18s. I don't have an 18 line wrench, but if you do, use that. Alright, so once you use your this puller, the Pitman arm puller, it's Audi. Once the Pitman arm is off, yo, the whole freaking thing is Audi. And that's how you pull it out. Guys, I was like a little short clip. I know it's like shorter than I usually do, but everything's all done. The truck is doing good. I rocked the steering wheel. Everything is all good. 
Um, and that's it for today. And uh, you guys take care until the next video. Just a little something. I figure I'd just do like a, a quick one. I didn't really have that much time to record. But it's all done. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'll catch you on the flip.